Welcome to my Shopify store setup. I'm gonna show you how to create a Shopify store from the very beginning. Even if you have no experience with Shopify or website building, it's gonna be super easy, I promise. All right, first you will have to register and go through the simple Shopify store website setup. To create a Shopify account, you can go to their website by clicking the link in the description. Just click start free trial. You'll be prompted to enter your email address, a password, and the name of your store. Once you filled it in, Shopify is gonna throw a few setup questions your way, nothing too heavy, just to get a feel for what you're building. And you'll be asked what you plan to sell and where you'll be selling it. And when it comes to the sales channel, go ahead and choose an online store as in this this Shopify tutorial 2025, we're aiming to build a fully customizable storefront that looks sharp, feels professional, and gives you full control from day one. After that, just pick whatever is true. These questions are not hard to answer if you know your business idea already. I mean, it does help tailor the platform to your needs, but if you're just unsure or just exploring, you can skip any optional steps. That also applies to their plans. The free trial here is just for three days. After that, for the first three months, Shopify only charges a dollar per month. It's a super low price to start, and you can start selling and get your store off the ground without dropping a bunch of cash up front. So once that dollar intro period wraps up, the standard plan rolls in at around $39 a month. So after completing or skipping the setup questions, click enter my store to access your Shopify dashboard where you can start customizing and managing your online shop. Okay, after getting to the dashboard, you might have no idea what to do next. So let's explore what's there first. On the left side, there's a clean vertical navigation menu that makes everything easy to find. It starts with home, which gives you a quick overview of your store's activity and some helpful setup tips. Orders is where you manage your sales. Products is for adding or updating items and customers shows everyone who's interacted with your store from buyers to email subscribers. All right, analytics is one of my favorite sections. It gives you a simple but powerful view of your traffic, sales, and trends. Marketing lets you build campaigns like email or ads. And online store is where you design your storefront, adjust your theme, and manage content like blog posts. At the bottom is settings where all the operational stuff lives, payments, shipping, checkout, and more. Okay, up top, you're going to see a setup guide banner. This is actually super helpful. It walks you through essentials like adding products, setting up payments, and connecting your domain. So it feels more like a smart assistant than a boring checklist, and you can skip steps and just come back anytime. But in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through each part myself. So honestly, the UI is one of Shopify's biggest wins. The interface is clean, intuitive, and just genuinely easy to use, even if you're brand new to website building. So that said, I do wish the dashboard was was a bit more customizable, like pinning favorite sections or tweaking the layout. Not a deal breaker, just a missed opportunity maybe. Still, this platform was built for real business owners and it shows. Now, the themes section is where the Shopify store design journey begins. So Shopify gives you access to over 200 professionally designed themes, both free and paid, and they're more than just good looking. Each one comes with its own layout, style, and built-in features tailored to specific industries. So whether you're selling handmade crafts or clothing or digital goods, like God forbid NFTs, <laughs> you can start by clicking explore free themes or dive into the full Shopify theme store for more variety. There you can filter by industry and functionality, whether your brand leans minimal and clean, bold and playful or sleek and modern, there's something that fits. So a couple of reliable starters I always recommend are Dawn, which is super flexible, it's clean and beginner friendly. The other one is Refresh, which brings kind of a bolder, high impact look. So when you find one you like, just click try theme and add it to your library. Don't worry though, it won't go live until you publish it. And this gives you room to test and tweak and even switch things up a few times. And after adding it, hit customize to open the visual editor. So I always love this part because it allows me to be creative with its super like intuitive drag and drop editor. You can just drop in your logo, tweak your brand colors and fonts, and just start laying things out in a way that actually feels like your brand. 
Most themes come loaded with useful sections, image slider, product showcases, testimonials, and all kinds of flexible blocks that you can play around with. So just take your time here. This part isn't just about making things look pretty. It's about giving your store its personality. For most people visiting, this is gonna be their very first impression of your brand. So a clean, thoughtful layout that feels intentional can really boost trust and keep people browsing. So just try a few different looks and don't stress out about getting it perfect right away. It's your space, so make it feel like it's really yours. All right, let's get a little more serious now. Let's add a product so there's something to buy. Just head over to the product section from the sidebar and click add product. This takes you to the product creation page where you're going to start filling in the details. So begin with the title. Let's go with something like custom mug. Keep it clear and straightforward so customers know exactly what they're getting. In the description box, write a short, friendly summary or just use their AI text generator for help. Now, next in this guide on how to build Shopify store, upload a high quality image of the product. OK, good visuals make a big difference here. Clean, well lit photos instantly add credibility to your store. After that, set your price and scroll down to input your inventory quantity and stock keeping unit if you have one. Yeah, it doesn't have to be complicated. Now, don't forget to check the charge tax box if it does apply to your region. And once everything looks good, just click save. Okay, to avoid having an empty storefront, let's go ahead and add a second product. This helps showcase a bit of variety and makes the store feel you know, more legit. Maybe we add a personalized tote bag, same process, title, short description, image, price, inventory, and save. Okay, now that you've got some products in, your store needs to be ready to accept payments. So head over to settings in the bottom left corner of the dashboard, then click on payments. This is where you're gonna choose how your customers can pay you. So the easiest option is Shopify payments. It's built right into the platform and lets you accept credit cards without needing a third party provider. So just click to enable it and follow the setup prompts, which include adding your business and banking info. So once that's live, you're gonna be ready to accept all major credit and debit cards right away. So PayPal is also available by default. So if you've got a PayPal account, you can link it here to offer that as another payment method, which is great since a lot of customers prefer it for speed and trust. So if you plan on selling in person, you can also record cash payments from the physical locations like markets or pop-ups. It's a quick toggle and it doesn't require much setup, just good to know that it's here. Now with payments in place, your store is officially ready to bring in that money, but there are a couple of other things that we need to take care of before we can say that this website and store is finito. All right, one of those things is shipping rates configuration. So it's once again in the settings and there you select shipping and delivery. Under the shipping section, click manage rates. And this is where you control what your customers see and pay at checkout when it comes to delivery. All right, so there's a few ways to approach this, but for a simple beginner friendly setup, I recommend starting with something straightforward. So for example, you can offer free shipping within the United States and $5 flat rate shipping for international orders. So to do that, choose your shipping zone, let's say United States and click add rate. Name it something like free standard shipping and just set the price to zero. For international, create another shipping zone that includes the rest of the world and add a rate called flat rate international shipping with a $5 fee. So this just keeps things clean and predictable for both you and your customers. Of course, Shopify gives you the flexibility to go way more in depth and you can create custom rates based on weight, price tiers, or even specific regions. There are also Shopify apps in the store that unlock advanced shipping logic, real-time carrier rates, and region specific rules. But since this is a Shopify tutorial for beginners, we're keeping it simple for now. So if you would like a more advanced guide on things like dynamic rates, zone-based delivery, or integrating with fulfillment services, just drop a comment and I'll be happy to dive deeper in a future video. And if you don't have Shopify yet, you can grab it at the lowest price by scanning this QR code or clicking the link in the description. Anyway, next in this Shopify store setup, let's head over to settings, then general. This is where you fill in the core business details that Shopify uses behind the scenes. Make sure your store name is correct. Enter your business email. This is where customers notifications and Shopify updates are going to go and add your business address. It's required for invoices and shipping labels. So make sure it's correct. Even if you're just starting out from home. Next, go to the online store and then preferences. This is where you're gonna handle a few key settings that impact Shopify SEO, or in other words, how your store appears on search engines. At the top, there's a box for your homepage meta description. This is the short blurb that shows up under your store link on Google. Keep it clear and inviting. 
All right, now scroll down and look for the password protection section. By default, Shopify keeps your store hidden from the public until you're ready. So when you are ready to go live, just simply uncheck the password protected box and save. And just like that, your store is accessible to everyone. Now let's talk about your domain name. So right now your store has a temporary Shopify branded URL, but you'll probably want something cleaner and more on brand like yourstorename.com. Shopify makes this super easy. Just go to settings, then domains, and you can buy a domain directly through Shopify. The setup is instant and everything just syncs automatically. Now you might already have a third party domain from a provider like Namecheap, no problem. You can connect it here without much hassle. Shopify walks you through it step-by-step. Step, and if you ever find yourself needing more advanced options like managing multiple domains, setting up redirects, or tailoring things for international audiences, the Shopify app store has plenty of add-ons that help you with all of that. Anyhow, your store is basically launch ready, so let's see how it actually looks. All right, up in the top right corner of your Shopify dashboard, you're gonna see a little button that says view your store. Go ahead and click it. This is your first real look at your site through the eyes of your customers. So take a moment to explore and just imagine you're a visitor, all right? Scroll through the homepage, click a product, maybe add it to the cart just to test things out. Pay attention to things like whether images are crisp or your descriptions make sense and your pricing is right. Oh, and don't forget to check the experience on mobile either. Okay, now to be honest, I kind of enjoy this part the most from product listings to checkout to that final confirmation screen. You're watching the system you just built actually work. No more theory, no more setup, you know, it's live, it's real and it's ready for business. So yeah. That wraps up my Shopify website builder tutorial. Don't forget to use my discount from the description to save on Shopify. And if you did find this Shopify setup step-by-step -step helpful, like and subscribe, please. Thanks for watching and yeah, go make that money. Bye.